Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to this special edition MC Commute Style Review on Yamaha's 2023 TW200, which you see right there. We're coming to you live from Daytona Beach Bike Week in Daytona Beach, Florida. What a better place to get around than on Yamaha's TW200. Affordable, easy to ride, and you can ride it off-road here on the sand, which we're doing. How cool is that? All right, folks, strap on your helmet because we're going for a ride. Yo! All right, folks, here we are with Yamaha's 2023 TW200. This is a street legal dual sport motorcycle made by the tuning fork brand since 1987. Isn't that crazy? The TW in the name stands for Trailway. So the Trailway 200. It's been in Yamaha's lineup since 87. It had one revision for, I think it was the 1991 model year, and that was that disc brake you see there and the electric start. Now, the reason why these TW200s are so cool is because, well, look at it. This thing has a very unique style. It almost reminds me of Suzuki's DRZ with that rectangular headlight and cowl. These are classic 80s styled motorcycles and What's old always becomes new, and for some reason, these bikes are back in style. The other neat thing about this TW200 is it can be ridden on and off-road. This is a real dual sport motorcycle, an affordable dual sport motorcycle at $4,800. Look at those big oversized Bridgestone all-terrain balloon style tires an 18 inch wheel up front a 14 in the back look how tall that sidewall is right there this thing's powered by a 196 cc four stroke single overhead cam engine it's air cooled nothing fancy but it is reliable and it does have enough pep to get you onto the beach or anywhere else you want to go. Look at this thing. I love the looks of it. It's got enough room where you can bring a passenger. This nice area here, you can mount something. If you had to bring some luggage with you, you could tie that right there. All right, folks. Well, enough talking about this thing. Let's swing a leg over this TW200 and tell you what it's like to ride here in Daytona Beach, Florida. Yo! All right, folks, here we go. A good old fashioned signature Yamaha motor mechanical key. Turn the ignition. Let's go for a ride. You go first. Yeah. Nope. And away we go, guys. All right, engine on this thing. This vehicle is powered by a 196cc single overhead cam engine with a two valve cylinder head. So one intake valve, one exhaust valve. This engine features a counterbalancer and it's air cool. So ambient air cools the the cylinder via fins that are shrouded around the cylinder. This vehicle has a five speed manual transmission with a cable actuated clutch. It puts back the power to a 18 inch, I'm sorry, a 14 inch rear wheel via chain final drive on the left hand side of the vehicle. Look how pretty this is. Look at our fellow motorcycle riders taking in the sights and sounds of this old Dixie Highway in central eastern Florida near Daytona Beach. Now, we mistakenly said yesterday that Yamaha updated this model for the 1991 year. It's actually the 2001 model year. They added electric start, which you see right there, and that front disc 
brake. Besides that, that's the only changes that this mot motorcycle has had since being released for the 1987 model year. I can't tell you how many people have pulled over and waved at us and said, oh, that's a nice bike. Where do you get those? Those things are awesome. It's pretty crazy that a $4,800 bike that was built in 1987 would still garner that much attraction at stoplights. Now, this 196cc engine drinks from a 1.8 gallon fuel tank. There is no fuel gauge. There is no fuel light, but there is a petcock which allows you to move the fuel position from on, off for, trans for transport and reserve. This motorcycle employs a, a mechanical carburetor, so that's why it retains the fuel petcock. Look at this marsh swampland. This is awesome. Now this motorcycle, this thing sips fuel. We've gotten right around 60 miles per gallon during the course of our ride. Obviously we're doing a lot of stoplight to stoplight riding here, but if you're a cruiser and you keep the speeds lower, Yamaha says you can get upwards of 70 MPG out of this vehicle. Look at this, your snapshot.com. That's sick, this guy's taking photos. That's awesome. And I love this engine, it's really nice and peppy. You'd be surprised how much pep this 196cc overhead cam single has. Like for a for a 200cc bike, this motorcycle engine is more powerful than some 250cc water-cooled engines I've ridden. It's really neat how much torque this thing has. We rode this bike on the freeway, and as you can see later in the video, this thing has some pep with a top speed of upwards of 80 miles per hour. How crazy is that? Now, obviously, at those engine running speeds, this engine vibrates quite a bit, but considering its price point, considering its, its more rudimentary engineering, having a bit of engine vibration is par for the course. Absolutely acceptable. Now this motorcycle is pretty fresh. We only have 105 miles on the clock. So the transmission is a little, it's a little sticky. It's definitely broken in since we began our ride when the motorcycle had 25 miles on the clock. So it's breaking in, but it's a little bit stiff. These older school motorcycles, the tolerances on them, they're almost a little, <laughs> They're, the tolerances just have a little bit more room where these motorcycles need a little bit more time to break in than a modern motorcycle. With modern motorcycles, the tolerances on them are generally really tight and they break in very fast. So not a big deal. We're, this, I'm sure this transmission will loosen up after a while. But the one thing I do like about it is the solid shift feel. You really know when you're putting it into the next cog or downshifting into one cog below. Clutch action, it's nice and light. Nice and light, has a decent level of response. You're really not going to be using the clutch. Basically, you just use it as a tool to let it out. There's not like a lot of clutch slipping that has to happen with this motorcycle because it's so light and, and the power is so modest. But if I was someone that wanted to learn how to ride on a forgiving motorcycle, I think this TW200 would be a good option just because of its low seat height and how you and how accommodating it is with the clutch and the engine. All right, folks, we are back on the road. We had to pull over and take a photo and adjust my camera and Jared wanted to talk to me for a second. So here we go again. Now this motorcycle rolls on an 18 inch front and 14 inch rear spoke wheel with Bridgestone trail wing all terrain dual sport style tires. The tires are nice and meaty and they are really cool. They almost provide a second set of suspension just because they're so oversized and the sidewall is so tall, especially at the rear. Now, this motorcycle employs a telescopic fork and a coil spring shock shock absorber that works without a linkage. It attaches directly between the frame and swing arm. 
just over six inches of suspension tra travel up front and just a little bit under six inches out back. This motorcycle rides really good. For a, for a little 278 pound street bike, this thing rides over bumps good. And like we said, the tall sidewall tires, they almost act as a second set of suspension. Look, a curve, the only curve in Florida and we did it and it felt good on Yami's TW200. I love how agile this little bike is. It's so fun to ride. Well, there's a big bump and that's where we're having a maneuverable light weight and low to the ground motorcycle really pays dividends. This would be a really good bike to learn how to ride on. Very forgiving. Look how beautiful this peat moss is. Now the seat on this motorcycle, like we said, is very low to the ground. It's almost like a dirt bike seat, but it's a little bit wider than a conventional dirt bike. Still, we rode basically all day in this saddle yesterday and the seat is a little bit, ah, you're, you want to get off it after riding for 60, 70 miles. But realistically, you're not going to be riding 60, 70 miles at a time on this motorcycle. This motorcycle is designed for short jaunts around town. And for short jaunts around town and short blasts from point A to point B, it works great. The foot pegs on this motorcycle are, they're like off-road bike foot pegs. They're serrated, but they're a little bit teensy weensy, but not that big of a deal. Steel handlebar, I like the bend on it. It's got nice rearward sweep, not too high, not too low. Would be nice if it had a crossbar pad, but that's just the way it goes, I guess, sometimes. Again, this is a $4,800 motorcycle. Look at those animals. I love being in nature. There's nothing more I like than riding my motorcycle and seeing new places and seeing new adventures and seeing Mother Nature in all of its glory. Now, the braking package on this motorcycle, this single disc front disc brake, it works really good. The, the, the master cylinder offers good response. The rear brake is not quite as responsive in terms of modulation. Of course, it's a drum brake, and drum brakes don't have that precise level of modulation as, as a disc brake, but the brakes get the job done, and I like how much feel this motorcycle has for an entry-level $4,800 motorcycle. Unfortunately, this time we didn't get to ride this motorcycle after dark. I wanted to, but it started raining like crazy. And I just wasn't up for riding in crazy rain. Maybe I'm getting old. So we weren't able to test out the headlight on this vehicle. It's worth noting that this since it was manufactured originally in 1987, this thing doesn't have any LED anything. Halogen bulb headlight, halogen bulb turn signals, halogen bulb tail light, no LEDs. But we're cool with it. All right, folks, I am taking in this beautiful trees and this moss overhanging the trees just looks so awesome these rear view mirrors do a nice job of showing off what's going on behind you they buzz a lot this engine has quite a bit of vibration at basically engine any speed but especially at higher rpm so the mirrors do cloud up a little a little bit but they still have good surface area to see what's going on behind you oh my gosh we're getting balked by all these cars and bikes. This is bike week. A lot of folks riding without proper motorcycle safety gear. As always, you always want to don a helmet, full face helmet, gloves, riding boots over the ankle, and long pants and a long shirt or jacket when you're operating these motor vehicles. Now Yamaha is renowned for its durability and its ability to manufacture 
products with extreme high quality and this TW200 is no different. Service wise, after your initial service at 600 miles, Yamaha wants you to change the engine oil at 4,000 miles. After that, service intervals are every 3,000 miles. So basically every 3,000 miles, you wanna change the oil, you wanna change the filter, and then every other time, I'm sorry, every other oil change, you change the oil screener or clean the oil screener. So there's an oil filter and an oil screener. So every 3,000 miles, you change the oil and the oil filter and every other oil change, you wanna clean the screener. You also wanna check the air filter at that mileage duration. And oddly enough, Yamaha wants you to check the valve clearance of each of the two valves at 3,000 miles too. So. I guess you would kind of say this motorcycle is a little bit maintenance hungry if you're actually putting thousands of miles on it. But in our experience, these, these vehicles are built so tough that even if you don't check the valve clearances, it doesn't even really matter because they're always just going to be in spec. But still, technically, Yamaha Motor says for maximum reliability and durability and performance, you should check the valve clearances on this motorcycle every 3,000 miles. Wow, what a beautiful little ride today. Now, another neat feature about this motorcycle is you can actually bring a passenger. There are passenger foot pegs. The passenger seat area is relatively long just because the long, saddle's so long and the motorcycle gets more wide at the back. So your passenger has a little bit wider platform to sit on. Of course, you're not gonna be any doing any touring style rides on this vehicle, but for jetting around with the missus or the mister, just running quick errands with one of your best friends, this motorcycle is fully capable of that. All right, folks, we're gonna turn the camera off and try to catch up to these Harley guys. We will catch in with you in a little bit. You! Wow, folks, look at these like Everglades swamps. This is so beautiful. Look at just how everything is just so flat and green. Hey, what's up, Road Picks? These TW200s are great ways to connect the dots in your city or town and just see stuff and enjoy the classic feeling of riding a motorcycle. No electronics, no gizmos, no doodads, no suspension to fart around with. You just twist the throttle and enjoy the ride. All right, folks, here we are on the Interstate 95 heading north. And as you can see, this 23 TW200 is more than capable at being operated at freeway legal speeds. We are in top gear, fifth gear at 65 miles per hour, and we are passing traffic. Traffic's a little bit thick today on the I-95, so it's nice having a motorcycle that is so maneuverable. One caveat about this bike is because it offers such a low seat height, it's a relatively low and compact motorcycle. So when you're riding these petite type of motorcycles, you really have to do your best to stand out in traffic just because it's easier for big rigs and tall SUVs to, to miss you and just not see you on the road. So that's why a lot of times I like to ride with my bright headlight just so I stand out more in traffic, especially in bright midday sun. Every little bit helps. Even the clothes you wear, the motorcycle riding jacket, the color of your helmet. Realistic, realistically, if you want to stand out more and be seen, it's good to wear brighter and loud colors. As I've gotten older, I'm not so much of a bright, loud colors kind of guy. I like earth tones and blacks but those colors blend in a little bit more with the scenery and if you want to stand out in for optimum motorcycle safety, bright graphics, bright colors are the way to go. 
All right, folks, now we're going 75 miles per hour. Look at this little TW200. This thing eats for a little bike. You. There's my buddy, Jared Yamaha's street bike media coordinator. He's in the race tuck position. He's got a couple miles per hour on me. Let me get here in the tuck. There we go. Now we got some draft going. Oh yeah, baby, this is not safe, but it's NASCAR and it's fun. Yo! All right, folks, here we are at the legendary Cabbage Patch in Daytona Beach, Florida for Daytona Bike Week. Cabbage Patch is a place where you can camp and hang out and ride your motorcycle and serve as a home base. Cabbage Patch is named after that bar right there. We are going to cruise in. Thanks, man. Thank you. He says to make a left and go all the way down. So that's what we're going to do. Make a left and go all the way down. Now it's still before noon here at Daytona Beach Bike Week. So it's a little bit quiet, but still... It's cool to see all the vendors and all the guys out there oogling over each other's bikes. The cool thing about Bike Week is you just have a smorgasbord of different types of bikes. You got trikes, obviously a bazillion Harleys, and a bazillion Indian motorcycles and other American motorcycles out here. Wow, look at that thing. Look at that boss trike. That thing is sick. Wow. So a lot of cool things to look at. If you need a half helmet, you can buy it here. It's kind of a strange way to stack those half, half helmets. And then we have more vendors selling t-shirts and leather vests and all kinds of stuff. But what we're really here for is a hot dog, a corn dog. It's breakfast time. And when in Daytona, why not have a corn dog for breakfast? In the spirit of bike week, why not have a corn dog for breakfast? Just joking, we're having an Italian sausage instead. Yeah, and buddy. our buddy Gator went with the Philly cheese steak. It's a breakfast Another filler. good breakfast choice. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, man, thank you. With a lemonade. Man, you're living your life, dude. The oh, the breakfast lemonade of champions. Philly cheese steak. Look at this. Look at this sausage. Yeah. All right, folks, here we are on the Yamaha's 2023 TW Trailway 200 here in Main Street, on Main Street here in Daytona Beach, Florida. Look how many people are here right now. It is crazy. Look at all these bikes, Harleys, Indians, Kawasaki's, there was a Honda, everything. Of course, we all know that Harley Davidson's are the most common bike here at Bike Week, but it's still cool to see other brands too. Look at Indian motorcycles, huge setup. That's a good setup for Indian. Nice to see them out here supporting this event. You certainly don't see a lot of Yamaha motorcycles nor TW200s, but I'm pretty happy to be on this bike. Folks, it's raining a little bit. We're on the East Coast where it actually rains regularly so we are going to head to where it's dry over there all right folks we made it we just paid twenty dollars to that gentleman right there and for twenty dollars that allows you beach access for a 24-hour period here in daytona beach florida wow spring break is in full effect look at all the people here this is wild that we get to ride our motorcycle on the beach here how cool is that it's a beautiful day out here 
probably about 82, 83 degrees. A little bit more humid than we're used to. Actually, a lot more humid than we're used to in Southern California, but it's a refreshing change of pace. Pretty neat that the all-conquering TW200, you ride it on the road, you can ride it at highway speeds, you can ride off, it is awesome. A lot of things to look at and see, a lot of people walking around enjoying the day. We should have brought a little cooler full of sodas and posted up here and had some fun. You can totally do that here. Well, folks, that was a fun little beach jaunt here in Daytona Beach, Florida. Right now, we're rolling our Insta360 1X3 360 video cam. That is how we get some of this cool 360 footage that we will show you guys off in this video. Look, folks, we've got a little doggy riding with this lady how cute is that little dog he's got his goggles. look at his face it's so happy and so pumped to be riding in the wind look at it so neat that lady's riding the harley davidson heritage soft tail i believe she's got a helmet on which is nice to see and gloves fingerless but still gloves so it's nice to see people donning appropriate motorcycle safety gear when riding down here in the sunshine state of florida we're in daytona beach shores this is the north end of daytona we are on a1a this highway was made famous by vanilla ice's song from the 90s ice ice baby then 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 Yeah! Yo, vi yo VIP! Let's kick it! I used to love that song when I was a child. And now we're here riding on that same stretch of highway that was mod it was modeled after in Vanilla Ice's hit song. Well folks, there it is, Yamaha's 2023 TW200. This was a fun Daytona Bike Week Special Edition. We covered a lot of miles, saw a lot of stuff, ate some great fried food in the spirit of Bike Week, and had a blast on this $4,800 TW200. This is a really nice little bike and a perfect addition to the avid motorcyclist garage it looks cool it's super functional it's built yamaha tough it has that old school 80s vibe that is very much in style and these things hold their value you wouldn't believe how expensive these bikes are on the used market so if you buy it you know that you're going to get a bike that's not going to just deplete in value would i spend my forty eight hundred dollars on this 2023 tw 200 from yamaha motor you bet i would love to have this bike in my garage this bike would be great for running errands on in the city i live for doing going to the grocery store you can add a mount here to this uh, tail piece right here so you can have some form of, of permanent storage and this bike is a great little motorcycle from Yamaha. It, it, it's true to the adage that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's what this, this 2023 Yamaha TW200 is all about. All right, folks, that's a wrap from today's special edition review live from Daytona Beach, Florida Bike Week. We will check in with you folks next time. Make sure to surf on over to MotorcyclistOnline.com. That's where all of our written content comes to life. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and thumbs it down if you didn't. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for riding with us. You.